Welcome to the Owasso 8th Grade Center Enrollment Presentation. Let's introduce our administration and counselors. Our principal is Mr. Alton Lusk. Our assistant principal is Ms. Leanna Davis. Our counselors are Ms. Ginger Jacobson and Dr. Jennifer Calloway. So this is the daily schedule of the 8th grade center. There are six periods. Each one is 60 minutes each. There are four required classes, that which are English, Math, Science, and U.S. History. And then there's two electives of your choice. The 8th grade center does provide advanced classes. People who take advanced classes will be challenged to think about concepts in a deeper and more critical way. The students that decide to take advanced classes will be held at higher expectations and will be encouraged to go beyond grade level standards. The 8th grade center offers advanced English and advanced U.S. history. There are classes that provide high school credit. The core classes that apply are Algebra 1. This class requires a successful completion of 7th grade pre-algebra. Another class that provides high school credit is Geometry. This class requires a successful completion of 7th grade Algebra 1. Physical Science also provides high school credit. Students must qualify and be enrolled in Algebra 1 or Geometry at the 8th grade to take this course. There are some electives that provide high school credit. Those classes include French 1, Spanish 1, and FCS Basics. We have high school credit classes, so students must maintain a passing grade to get high school credits. Attendance policies, same as high school. The maximum absences per semester is 10, and then all absences count except for school activities. The elective selection process. You will choose four electives. Make your elective choice on the lime green planning guide. Rank them in preference order 1 to 4. Every effort will be made to give students their preferred elective choices, but due to scheduling and class size may not be possible. Regular electives have no prerequisites. Special electives require application or experience. The applying electives are student aides and mentors. There are counselor aides, library aides, and teacher aides. Other special electives are band and yearbook. An elective provided is intro to visual art. This elective is an introductory course focused on developing basic art and design skills, employing a variety of media and processes. There will be an emphasis on the elements of art as well as an introduction to the principles of design. Students will be expected to keep a weekly sketchbook, develop disciplined work habits, and working knowledge of artistic vocabulary. Continuing visual art in an advanced art course. Individual art students will become acquainted with 2D and 3D artwork. The goal is to build a body of work and an understanding of the visual arts by the completion of the school year. This course also nurtures students in responding to works of art that express concepts, ideas, and feelings. Students will work with a variety of media that explore techniques used in professional art and aligns with stated objectives as well as state standards. An added focus will be incorporating art history as well as highlighting career opportunities that utilize art skills. Students that decide to take this course will be expected to go beyond grade level standards in order to fully understand the complex connections within composition and expression. Drama. Eighth grade drama is an introduction to theater and aims to foster a lifelong appreciation for the theater. Students will learn improvisation, staging, characterization, role playing, and other basic drama techniques. Students are expected to perform in class and participate in several productions. Hi guys, my name is Mrs. Botts and I'm very blessed to teach drama class. In drama class, we do a lot of things like a big spring production, um, many different types of performances in class, um, crafty things like masks and puppets, and we also do a lot of group and individual projects. So there's a little something for everyone. Um, Instead of me telling you why you should join drama class, I'm going to let some of my students do it. So, here you go. The reason you should join drama is because it's a really accepting group and you can be who you want to be. Um, it helps build a lot of social skills that you wouldn't expect it to. Like public speaking, it really helps me with that. Like now I'm excited to present stuff in class, which is weird. You should join drama class because it's like 
not even a class. It's just a whole big family. Um, it's really amazing and I would definitely recommend because it's really a break from all the other stressful classes you have. You should join drama because you get to do lots of fun improv. Drama to me has always been like a home and a family and having something like that and just having something new and fun and creative is so important and especially if you're into the arts in any way, I think it's something that will really benefit you for not only just in the arts but in life experiences. Band, performance-based class for students who have successfully completed and passed two years of school band instruction on wind or percussion instruments, and whose skills are at or above a specific level as determined by band directors, and emphasizes the ongoing growth of full band performance skills in preparation for concerts and competitions. And more complex music theory, music interpretation, and sight reading are addressed, and a higher level of technical playing proficiency is developed. Chorus. Students will focus on vocal performance of music from various musical styles. Emphasis will be on learning proper singing techniques, concert etiquette, sight singing, basic music theory, and becoming an independent music reader. Students are required to participate in competitions, school concerts, and other events, and must maintain eligibility. Strength and Conditioning Co-Ed. This class will help to improve overall muscle tone, cardiovascular respiratory efficiency, and promotes awareness of healthy lifestyles. Class will consist of step aerobics, high and low impact aerobics, target toning, weight training, power walking, jogging, and stretching. Welcome seventh graders who are coming to the eighth grade building. Um, I just wanted to introduce myself. I'm Daniel Dolan. I am one of the strength and conditioning coaches here at the, uh, at the eighth grade center. Um, I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about what this class has to offer. Um, first of all, it's offered to everybody, okay? It is, it is very beneficial if you do play sports um, to take this class because you can see behind me, we have access to a full weight room in here. Um, we'll be lifting, running, all sorts of different exercises. We'll go outside to the track, to the football field. We'll be doing all sorts of um, fitness. Uh, also, to those of you that, that don't play sports, uh, that are looking to get into fitness or want to uh, learn more about fitness and working out and nutrition and all that stuff, this class is perfect for you as well. Um, you're going to learn a whole lot about how the body functions. You're going to learn all sorts of different lifts and what those lifts are targeting, what muscle groups they're targeting. So this class is really for anybody and everybody. I especially, um, if I was in eighth grade, I, you know, I played sports growing up, I would definitely want to get in this class just to help me excel on the sports field uh, because it is going to translate to that. Um, but like, like I said, if you don't play a sport, you just want to get in here and, and work out, this class is for you as well. Um, so anybody and everybody's welcome, and um, I look forward to meeting you guys next year. Physical education curriculum is a sequential educational program. It is based on physical activities undertaken in an active, caring, supportive, and non-threatening atmosphere in which every student is challenged and successful. All students are provided with a variety of physical activities and challenges. The ultimate goal is for students to be empowered to achieve and maintain a healthy lifestyle. Outdoor education. The purpose of this class is to explore environmental concerns and their impact on outdoor activities. Subjects covered will be hunting, fishing, land management, species identification, habitat management, ecology, biology, hunter education, and safety.
In current events, students will study the news, current events, and issues through many different media types and outlets. In some cases, um, students will find the need to study and examine historical backgrounds and events of the issue in question. Native Leaders and Legends Through biography and film, students will explore the world of Native American leaders, past and present. Students will also enjoy legends and storytelling from various Native American tribes. In addition, this course will examine the characteristics of leadership while incorporating life skills strategies, as well as cur cultural hands-on activities. Yearbook. The yearbook course has been designed to provide students with the journalism skills and the ability to apply those skills to the actual production of the yearbook. Units of the studies include teamwork, responsibility, brainstorming, content, coverage, etc. Students must complete an application form. Forms will be sent to students' emails Tuesday, March 1st. Students must complete an application online by Friday, March 25th. This course introduces a wide range of technology. Students will use Adobe Photoshop and Premiere with editing photos and designing graphics. Coding in Python, HTML, and JavaScript is also something that will be included in this course. Video broadcasting, making videos, and using green screen, importing and exporting videos, photography techniques, and strategies are also included. Creating websites and using computer etiquette, Microsoft Office, Google Workspace, and more will also be in this course. And here is a video to show some of the fun things we do in our class. Attention, salute, fudge. Hey, don't forget. Next week's Red Ribbon Week. Eighth grade STEM will include science, technology, engineering, and math. The STEM elective will focus on these concepts relate to the real world. Using hands-on discovery based on modules across a variety of science, technology, engineering, and math fields. Strategies for Academic Success 
The focus of this course is on the development and application of study skills, personal success strategies, and the use of resources that enhance student achievement. Students will also practice the principles of effective time management and organization. Student who fail two more classes during the seventh grade or score below proficient of the state reading test may be enrolled in the class of Leo another elective. <laughs> Service learning student aid. Counselor aid, teacher's aid, library aid. Students will learn effective communication skills, customer service, and basic office tasks. This course is designed to allow students to experience the responsibility of office tasks, confidentiality, and professional etiquette. Students must complete an application online by Friday, March 25th. Service Learning Student Mentor This class is designed to promote an understanding of students with disabilities and inform the general education population of individual differences. Mentors may be assigned to help within a special class, at lunch, or within a regular education classroom. Mentors are required to keep a weekly journal of their experiences, write essays, and participate in projects and activities. Students must complete an application online by Friday, March 25th. Agricultural Exploration and Orientation Agricultural Exploration and Orientation is the exploratory class to agricultural education. This class will cover basic parts of all agriculture classes offered through the Owasso Agricultural Education Programs. Some items to be covered, public speaking, parliamentary procedure, leadership, judging teams, animal is not required. Family and Consumer Science 1, this is a high school level course. This is a career tech course that provides instruction and basic life skills needed to strengthen their character, their families, and their communities. Topics of study include health and safety procedures related to child care and food preparation, family life and individual health, nutrition and food selection, meal planning and preparation, um, garment care and construction, money management, communication, and how to build and maintain healthy relationships. French 1 or Spanish 1, high school level course. Provides students an introduction to basic vocabulary and essential grammar skills. The students will receive an introduction to the Spanish slash French speaking countries. The fundamentals of Spanish slash French pronunciation, grammar, and cultural awareness will be taught. Additional information you need to know. Athletics are after school. Not, they're not a class. Enrolling in the strength and conditioning class is encouraged but not mandatory. Students must remain eligible to participate in athletics, band, vocal, and VOAG events, and other school-sponsored activities slash events. Applications for electives. Electives required application are student aid, counselor aid, library aid, and teacher aid. Student mentor and yearbook are also an application for electives. Applications must be filled out online the applications can be accessed from the Owasso 8th grade website, and the applications are due by Friday, March 25th. This video is showing you where the online applications are on our website. Enrollment Steps Enroll online Monday, February 28th, enrollment presentation during third hour. Tuesday, March 1st, enrollment for 8th grade during geography classes. Complete Google Form if you want to be an aid, mentor, or in the yearbook class, etc. Online Enrollment Procedure First, go to wassoPS.org, then click Parent Portal, then click PowerSchool Parent Portal, then sign in using your username or password or your parents, then click class registration. Here's a short video showing you where to enroll online through our website.
please make sure your email is up to date at 7GC in PowerSchool. Snap code will be sent to the email provided in PowerSchool. This must be completed slash updated prior to schedule pickup. This is not the same thing as PowerSchool. Link is on the 8th grade center website under 2022-2023 enrollment. Schedule changes. We only do schedule changes for the following reasons. One, to bounce class numbers. Two, you're enrolled in the wrong core class level. Three, a medical condition warrants the change. So please, be sure you like all of the electives that you choose. The enrollment window will be open until Friday, March 25th. Application form must be submitted the same day, Friday, March 25th. If you don't submit enrollment choices, classes will be picked for you. If you have any questions, please contact our counselors. This is the conclusion of the Owasso 8th Grade Center enrollment presentation. We can't wait to see you next year.